Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Wolf Cybertron Kingdom T Rex. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. This will also work for Beast Wars Megatron and indeed the Tyrannosaurus from the Jurassic Park crossover set as well. Right, this can be quite tedious, quite intricate, so please bear with me and I hope you find this useful. I'm going to start off with by just folding these bits over on the arms, just lifting them up a little bit. Don't push them all the way in just yet because these are going to locate into something else right i'm also going to take this part of the tail i'm going to rotate it around so that the colors match up on that side and then to be honest if you wanted to now there's a big cut out there and there's a huge tab there you can fold this in and tab that into place now that's into place the cutouts here is where this blue tab was going to go so just you have to readjust this a little bit um, let me see if I can bring it in on screen where you can see and then we're aiming for it to tab in there like so so it's like a double hinge so you're going to push it down a little bit to push over and then line it up and then it holds relatively tight in there like so right let's leave that alone then let's come to the back kibble grab or move the little dinosaur arms if they're in the way grab the purpley reflective part which is here slowly disconnect it off the back it's held on via two clips under there see the gray clips at the back so carefully adjust as in pull these off oh there you go can be quite stiff and then fold this out pretty much out of the way you can then do the same with these in a second but what you need to do come to the waist hold it carefully around the waist around the torso and separate like so once you've done that you can take all of this back kibble out now fold out the sides fold out this front bit same on this side this is of course going to be all the back of the dinosaur so try and keep these back out of the way just for now while you've got this space and clearance you can tuck the head away like so and then what we're going to do we're going to separate now this for me i find difficult um, i'm going to use a real blunt screwdriver here to get in there blunt screwdriver you know what i mean just because to get that tab apart prize it apart can be really difficult before we do any more take these bits on the side pull them out rotate them around and tab them in there so there's a little cut out there if you lift this tab out the tab is there on the underside we're just going to clip it into that part of the leg instead right this is where it can get a little bit difficult what we're looking to do is because this is going to be the back part what we're looking at doing here we're going to take the legs right out so bring these all the way out see the separate hinge there on that gray part underneath bring this all the way out push it in and then push that right in like so so you're just extending these hips out bring this out it looks like you're making a square or you put them in at them at right angles again it can be awkward it can be fiddly it's a little bit easier if it's just in front of you rather than around a camera so that's what we're looking at with there then what we're looking to do is we're going to bring this part down and as we do that, I need to show you this under here. So see that cut out there or them two tabs rather rotate the body around like this. So it's going to line up with this tab under here. So turn this tail completely out of the way. That's it. Give you the clearance. Now you can see this better. We're going to line this up under here and we're going to tab it into position push push you'll hear a huge click there you go so now you know it's in the right place right now we can start to piece everything sort of together what we need to do is we need to bring this over here this over here and this part is going to come these two cutouts are going to line up there so let's bring the legs down bring the legs down now you can rotate this around and now it's a case of bringing these over. This is going to tab into that cutout there. See that bit under there, the blue bit going into the grey tab. Same on this side. Let's line it up. That's why you need to keep the square. It's really important that you keep that sort of square shape. Line this up. It's so awkward. And it's even more awkward, as I say, when you've got a big camera in front of you and you're trying to line everything up. I'm going to come to that in two seconds, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the hinges back on this and bring this over. So that brings these out of the way. Swing the hinge around. See, it's on that slider there. Sling, swing it up, bring it over, clip that over there. This is now giving us so much more space to work with. Rotate 
this that way that does stay underneath you need to keep that underneath let's cover all this up then make sure these bits are out bring these underneath there clip these into position like so that should line up like that rotate the head around push it back into there bring the little arms down so that bit's pretty much done we just need to tidy up this back bit now and that is a case again of just pushing all this down that's just clipped in i think yep and then this side again you're aiming for that blue tab to go into the back there once that pushes in you can then start to straighten everything up and there oh no these have popped out so frustrating i remember all the fuss um, and all the i suppose yeah people were moaning a little bit about this transformation process with the megatron it's exactly the same things do pop out but i've got to give them the benefit of the doubt it's a dinosaur at the end of the day it must be incredibly difficult to make a huge robot out of this right there he is anyway in his alternate mode hope that helped so then if we're going to take him back to his robot mode it's a little easier going backwards shall we say so let's just separate these tabs there from underneath that lift these up right out of the way um, and then we're going to do something similar to the back as well i'm going to take this here fold that over that's going to be a claw and i'm also going to rotate that around as well before i forget right with regards to the legs this part here is going to separate it's going to come around lift up as well same on this side it looks like a bit like the, the transmetal one now you know with the wings that can fly i'm going to spin this around at the same time so this tab that's under there came out of there and it will then fit at the top as well so you might as well do this while we're thinking about it and now it's a case of of course this is going to be an arm but i want to show you here is this is where it's going to separate off this part here so this here if i lift up it's tabbed in here so if i disconnect via this let's lift this completely up out of the way and inside here you're going to hear a big click because that's where it's attached to come on out you come there it is and that was the what was tabbed into that side there so this is now of course going to be the legs so this is where we've got the awkward part so what you need to do is shimmy this um all the way over so you can see you've got a couple of hinges under there bring this all the way over push it right down and click it in same principle on this side bring it over over and just keep them far enough apart so that what you can do is clip it together there we go that's probably some of the most difficult thing to do to be honest because it is quite stiff and as you can see there's so much else going on what we need to do now is rotate this around lift this part of the torso up bring it forward and then snap this down over there it does normally make there you go a loud click as well at the same time now you can bring this back part back enough to bring the head out you should have had enough clearance to be fair i probably should have done it just before oh no there we go if you're wondering what happened there this bit just came off the back so i'm going to of course just reattach it because it's just as simple as that and i'm going to keep it in again because um, if it happens to you it's reassuring for you guys to know that it's just a case of reattaching there right let's rotate this fold this up over on itself at the back like that rotate these down rotate these down there i choose to rotate the small arms in you can then take this back a little which is this these parts and you can cover up this as well as so you can start to bring more around there that's starting to sort out some of the back kibble they can rotate in there now let's just sort the arms out so let's open up this part here it's tabbed in via that tab into there same on this side and then what we're looking to do is fold it completely over on itself now that can be quite scary as well you can see there's the fist so bring the shoulder down turn the orientation so that the fist is there and i've got to get these legs to stand straight so with the head the shoulder pads are right bring this down open up that and then again you're just going to correct your orientation as to how you want it to again i've got really loose joints in the legs of this 
let's stand him up but there is the robot mode even though everything all well some things popped off etc i hope this helps you out anyway because again very very frustrating mold to transform there we go robot mode